What's up, y'all? What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy Charles checking in. Hit that thumbs up button. Listen, um, a double, a double, the leader. When I say the leader, I mean, you know, killer. Elbows lawyer in the face ahead of sentencing. Isn't this crazy? He, he was going to get his last lick in regardless. A man convicted of the murder of a child and the child's babysitter caused a scene during a pre-sentencing hearing when he elbowed his lawyer in the face after getting handed down a, a, death, a death sentence. Joseph Zeiler, 61, was seen talking with his lawyer, Kevin Sherrell, when he violently strikes him with an elbow to the face that sent the attorney spinning. Zeller acted gamer and gasper from those in the attendance as he was quickly subdued by Bayless before being removed from the courtroom. Zeller, 61 of North Myers, carried out a 1990 attack by sneaking into a condominium and finding Robin Cornell, 11, and babysitter Lisa Story, 32, inside. The child's mother had gone to her boyfriend's home for the night and returned to the Cape Carroll apartment the following day to find her daughter and Story dead. The victims had both been sexually assaulted and had been beaten before being suffocated. Prosecutors said the case went cold for more than two decades before new DNA evidence tied Zegler to the crime in 2016. He was already in custody for assault, assaulting his stepson when he was charged with double, double murking. Wow, that's crazy. Isn't that crazy? So this happened back, so this happened back in 1990. And then he finally got caught in 2016. Wow. Hmm. So y'all can go see the video on YouTube, man. Uh, I can't post it. I just got pictures of it, but y'all can go see it on YouTube. Um, he basically got one little shot in before they drug him off. Um, but they wrestled his behind right to the floor, though. You know, man, can you imagine that staying out? But hell, if the mom would have stayed, she probably been the third person that got that got murked had she been there. You know, but ain't that crazy? The one night you decide to go off, but you know what? He might have been watching the house and saw that she was gone for the night and that the girl, he probably wanted that little girl. And then the babysitter was just in the way, you know. But uh, damn, that's sad. But hey, if he's in Fort Myers, Florida, Florida is my home state, he is going to that chair. I don't think they do the chair no more. I think it's lethal injection now, right? I don't, I don't remember, you know. But that's just, man. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all got to see the video. <laughs> he, he knew how to... Because he, he's handcuffed, but you can see how he just, you know. But um, what did he expect for the lawyer? I guess he expected for the lawyer to get him off, being it, it happened so long ago. It's crazy that they have DNA. So, you know what I'm saying? From That happened in 1990. They was able to keep the DNA from 1990 to be able to, you know, because you know, back then the technology wasn't as, as good as it is now. But the fact that they was able to keep that DNA from 1990, and then when the technology caught up, they was able to go. But I, I, I heard that a lot of places are doing that. A lot of stuff that happened like in the 80s and the early 90s before the technology of DNA, they are bringing those cases back up, and they're able to solve some of those cases. But the fact that he was able to get away with it, he did it in 1990, and he was able to uh avoid capture for how long was he he did it in 1990 1990 um let me see this is 2000 2010 2016 he was able to he was able to get away with it for 26 years almost 30 years he was able to avoid capture you know so this happened 26 years ago he's 61 now so when he did this crime in 1990 he was he's 61 now 26 years ago. Let me see. My math is horrible. So let's see. 51, 41, uh, 40, 39, 38, 37, 36. 30. He's about 34, 35 when he, he's about 34, 35 when he committed the crime. Man, how could you kill? Oh, that's It's some crazy. Man, I don't see how people can harm a child, though. 
That's what I don't get. How can somebody harm a child, you know? Like, boy, the world is cold, boy, I tell you. But anyway, he is, I wonder how long he's gonna go before they end up sending him to the chair. He's 61, because usually they, they keep you for a while, right? So, what, they, they make, because they have to schedule you. They can't just, take, you know, they should just drag, if they're gonna send you, you know, if they're gonna put you out to misery, they might as well go ahead and just take you down to the chair right after you get sentenced. But they give him like, what, 10 to 15 to 20 years? So he's 61 now, so hell, he may end up croaking before he even gets to the chair, you know? Or, or the lethal, I don't know, do they do the chair? I think, I think the chair got disbanded some years ago. I don't think they do that. I think Ted Bundy was the last, oh, you know what? I think it was Eileen Warnos was the last person to be sentenced to the electric chair in Florida. I think Florida, and Texas were the only two states that did that. But now, I don't think none of them do it now. I think the ones that, I think states that carry the death penalty, they give you that, they give you that needle, you know. But, damn. Anyway, what do y'all think about this story, man? Leave your comments, subscribe to Charles and Israel. Appreciate you guys watching. Take care.